Hi right, YouTube, I think I found some kind of factory defect in these GE Slim Breakers. I call them Slim Line Breakers, but I'm sure they got a different name. But um, I have a problem home I put a panel in about roughly five years ago. All of the breakers, or seven of them, all seven of them have the same issue. They're making poor contact, and this is loose on those. Now, I just went to the store and picked up some new ones, and the first one I grabbed, it was a little bit loose, but then the next seven, they're rock solid. They're not loose at all. So, you know, five years, and the breakers are already bad, I think that's a factory defect something you might want to watch out for uh, next time you decide you're going to install a panel so these are the new ones I'm gonna show you the old ones now I'm gonna show you on a on a meter what they're doing so let me grab them and I'll show you all right so this <clears throat> is one of the worst ones uh, this is the one where actually the the circuit failed and my tenant told me they lost power and uh, it even sounds crusty whenever you it's not doesn't have good snap action anymore so these things are I don't know man see so you can see the discoloration the burn and then look at this see how loose that is and that's all of them this one like I said is the worst but there were seven breakers in the panel that one still has good snap action. That one's loose. Snap action's okay. Loose. This one was starting to get warm. You can see the discoloration. And like I showed you, <clears throat> I bought the new seven replacements. So that seven replacements same thing GE slim breakers and they were all tight these are all loose that one's a little crusty loose but <clears throat> like I said this one is the worst one and you could actually hear the arcing inside here so let me go get my meter set up and I'll show you what you know how I diagnose this in the panel. Alright, so I got the meter set up and basically the breaker's on. I got one lead going in the back where the wire goes. And this is where it would hook into the panel. And of course this is the fried one. But you can see there's resistance there. It changes as I wiggle it around. Okay, this one wasn't fried. Still got good snap action get it set up here so it's in the panel let's see what now that one that one's okay still but it's loose I'm sure it's gonna fail again soon let's go on to another one here where the wire goes Breakers on. Okay, no resistance. Look, see that? Shaking it around. Look at it fluctuating. So, I mean, I can show you all seven if you want, but I think you get the picture. Um, <clears throat> you know, this was a brand new breaker panel when it was installed. All brand new breakers. There's no buzzing or humming in the panel that I can hear um, so only thing that I can figure is this is just you know heating and contracting over time of use you know but I mean it's they're 20 amp breakers you know it's all gone to you know 12 2 Romax so it's all adequately sized to handle the load let me get my pliers we're gonna bust this worst one open and, and see what it looks like all right what I've done is I've pulled this thing apart the best I can. You can see the burn inside the case. And if it looks like to me, 
that this arm right here is what carries the load. Okay, let's pull this out of the way. This load, or this arm right here, carries the load from this braided copper wire. It's welded onto this rod and makes contact right there. <clears throat> so, looks to me that this is the weak point of the whole deal here. This needs to be heavier to carry more load. Um, so it just seems to me to be a bad design. That's all it is. Maybe this thing should be made out of copper since it's uh, carrying such high current. But you can see that's all it is right there. Just a set of contacts right there. And I guess over time maybe they get a bad connection but you know it gets loose in here but like I said on the new ones I bought these were all tight real snug I don't remember five years ago when I put the panel in if these were all tight and snug maybe they've changed the design since then but <clears throat> seems to me the whole problem being you know I've never had this problem out of the full-size breakers it's the only first time I've had this problem, and it's been out of these slim breakers. So, it seems to me they're, they're skimping out on components to make it thinner, make it cheaper. And I understand that's the way the world works now, make it as cheap and as thin as you can. But I think something that's as important as a circuit breaker, you know, I mean, it is the job and function of this thing to keep your house from burning to the ground. And it seems to me that this thing is almost the cause of causing your house to burn to the ground. Um, I don't know if you're old enough, you might remember there was a company called Federal Pacific. And they made breakers that pretty much were guaranteed to burn your house down. Um, I don't know. This might be, a, might be a trend coming up here. GE Circuit Breaker made in the USA. And completely failed, and it was just sitting here arcing out. You know, I could take this breaker in the panel, wiggle it like this, and the circuit would come on and off. So that tells me that it was just these two contacts grinding together like that, making a contact, a brief contact. Look at how shitty that, or sorry, how crappy that contact is. I mean, that thing's just burnt off. There's nothing left of it. And this... This right here is just completely discolored and burned up. This is too thin to handle 20 amps. You know, I'm almost willing to bet money. I don't have any 15 amp breakers, but I'm almost willing to bet that they, this component is the same in the 15 amp breaker. So, I don't know, but I think this is interesting. I think it's something you guys ought to watch out for. If uh, you have these breakers in your panel, uh, it might be worth your time to just pop it out. Of course, shut the power off. Pop it out and see if this thing wiggles at all. If it wiggles, personally, I'd replace it. I mean, five bucks. Five bucks for peace of mind that it's not going to burn your house down. All right, YouTube, that's what I got for today.